The number one is Aleco WG 3000 W 48 V. The Aleco WG 3000 W 48 V is one of the most powerful units you can find for home use. It starts generating energy in wind speeds as low as 5 miles per hour, and at maximum production creates as much as 3,000 watts of electricity. The price approximately $1,447. This product has averaged 2.8 stars from more than 7 customer reviews, a customer said. I have been running mine for about a month now, I run it in unison with my solar array. I run a 48V system 2 banks of 8 6V Trojan batteries. I have a Magnum 100 Amp MPPT solar charge controller and 4600 watts of panels. I run a 12000 watt, yes that is a 12K, 240V Ames inverter. Their inverter alone consumes 200W just to feed itself. I live in an area of AS that has consistent 20 to 30 miles per hour winds. I added this turbine and can't be more pleased. On windy nights I can run my 1500W electric heater and still have almost full battery power in the mornings. I did have an issue with my controller I purchased to go with it so for now I run it mainly in the evenings under constant load and have a manual dump load setup that is a water heater with dual 48V. 1000W elements. When I switch the output to the dump load it is enough to keep the turbine under control even in 30 plus mph winds. I had purchased a Coleman Air 10,000 watt controller and it fried the instant I pressed the EDM test button. This is a long story. Another happy customer said. I am very pleased with the unit. I've had it up and running for about two months now. It starts charging the batteries at around 8 miles per hour and the most wattage I've seen was 2,600 watts in a 25 miles per hour wind. I'm waiting to see what it will do in a 30 miles per hour wind, though I am expecting to see 3,000 watts out of it. It seems to be built very solid, and I don't doubt it could survive a 100 miles per hour wind. At first I thought the tail was not adjustable, but it is. I've even considered buying another unit. There are a lot of opportunities in wind energy to not get good results, so I would recommend having a good understanding on the subject before making the purchase. An unhappy customer said. Hi I have purchased two of these units. The first one lasted five years. I did have to change out the bearings at two years, at the five year mark the magnets cracked and dislodged themselves and pretty much chewed up the wind turbine. The second one I had a shop put in Timken bearings in right off the bat. This one lasted a little over one year and the magnet left the stator and froze up. The monies I have out for these unit I will never get back. These are made in China and the workmanship is terrible. I did not buy from this seller. I am off grid and was in great need of a wind turbine with dependability. When it did work it did work awesome. The second product is Happy by DC. The Happy by DC gives you a lot of bang for your buck, capable of producing as much as 500 watts of power and costing less than $175. It's available in both 12V and 24V systems, and functions equally as well in extreme cold as extreme heat. The average rating of this product is 3.1 stars with more than 111 customer reviews, a customer said. So far so good. The assembly was straightforward. The included flange was easily welded onto section of pipe to mount unit onto. The housing of the turbine is metal which I guess I wasn't expecting. Appears well made. Overall very pleased with the product. So here is a update. Have noticed an increased amount of battery charge in the mornings. Average of about a volt. I do live in a dependably breezy area. Very pleased. I will be getting another of these before adding more panels to our system. 
So update. Customer service is excellent was able to get some replacement blades. Another happy customer said, Very easy in for to install the converter kit that you need to buy really does put the energy back into your system and it lowered my bill. An unhappy customer said, There's a reason the rated current isn't stated. The manufacturer blatantly lies about the power the generator can output. I ordered the 12 volt 500 watt model, which is supposed to be able to supply approximately 42 amps. The size of wire required to handle even 40 amps at the maximum standard temperature, 90 degrees Celsius, is 10 Aruban florins. The wires coming from the generator and controller are all 14 Aruban florins, which can handle only 25 amps at the same 90 degrees. The controller is also only rated at 15 amps max. If you are planning a wind setup and are looking at these generators, you should understand what you're getting into. The next product in our list is Windmax Hi 400. The Windmax HY400 is a little pricey, but it is able to produce a lot of power with a shorter span than most other models, making it ideal for those without a lot of space for their turbine. Plus, it features an electromagnetic over speed control for safety. This product is available on Amazon for $699, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 3.3 stars from 18 customer reviews, a customer said. Ready for a second purchase, quality product. Another happy customer said. Can be seen in use at Happy Homestead Family YouTube channel. An unhappy customer said. Not very good instructions, need to say other STRFF needed to hook up. The number 4. Automax Windmill The Automax Windmill cuts in at roughly 4.5 miles per hour of wind speed, and can produce as much as 1,200 watts when it gets going at full blast. An integrated automatic braking system will slow the blades, if needed, to prevent damage in storms. The price is around $1,999, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are three reviews which average rating is 2.7 stars for this product, a customer said. Correction, the propel is now broken. I cannot find vendor information to start return or request replacement. We'll update review later. So far the installation was straightforward and very easy. Windmill installs on a 1.5 inches pipe. The construction feels very strong and good quality. The package contains everything needed for the install and the install manual is very easy to understand. I will update with more information later if there is anything else to be added. MPPT is taking the batteries to about 56 VDC, hope vendor can share the MPPT configuration for the battery set points. An unhappy customer said. The same problem I have with broken windmill blades on my Automax windmill, and can't locate replacement blades are the manufacturer. Magdalene. The next product in our list is. Happy by Generator. The Happy by Generator is well suited to locations where the wind is constantly shifting direction, since it doesn't need to be pointed dead into it to be effective. Its wheel diameter is a touch over 6 feet, though, so it requires a lot of space. This product is available on Amazon for $359. There are 8 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4 stars, a customer said. I purchased the 12 volt 400 watt model and I am very happy with. I live in the city but get some good winds from time as seen in my video. I am thinking buying another one. Another happy customer said. Still testing it out and researching before going up higher. It spins and turns around sometimes when it's very windy and stormy. Seems to be a great product. An unhappy customer said. I have reported the issue several times I still haven't got this thing to work they will not take it back so I'm stuck with a piece of junk please use another company if you looking for a wind turbine.
The next product in our list is Happy by Lantern. The Happy by Lantern might not be as efficient as many other models, but its design is less scary to those who are uneasy about large blades spinning madly on their house. It's available in a variety of wattages ranging from 100 to 400. This product is available on Amazon for $184. There are 91 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.1 stars, a customer said. The best of the four wind turbines I have purchased. It also tons when the others do not with weak wind. 2. Another happy customer said. I'm trying to lower my energy bill, live off the grid. I have batteries and solar panels and now I'm trying to accessorize them with windmills so at night they can charge as well, since I can run most stuff on my RV batteries using inverters. This windmill is way bigger than I thought it was going to be, it's huge. I need some help to set up a pole for this first one, I plan on getting three more of them, and probably the rest of them too. The wiring seems pretty straightforward and the shipping was great, it got here way faster than I was told at first by Amazon. I haven't hooked this first windmill up yet, I can't wait to have it up and running, but it's going to take another week or two, I need some help as I said, so I can't say how it works yet. Once it's up and running I'll leave another review, I'm sure it'll be a great one. This thing is super high tech and very affordable. The future is looking very good indeed. As long as my RV batteries hold up, smiley face. An unhappy customer said. Does not come with the mounting bracket. You will have to find or manufacture a mounting bracket that is 5 to 7 millimeters, sucker, in length to mount this device. Horrible instructions. Your own you own. Charge controller does not work. Voltage meter shows voltage from 0 to 13.7 but it does not charge the battery even though it show voltage. Horrible support staff who tells you they will have to contact a warehouse in China to delay the solution until it's too late to return. Then you're stuck with an item that does nothing but spin. Hopefully you'll get it figured out one day. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.